welcome to game four between Michael and Mighty. Upper left-hand corner, we have Michael as the pink Protoss, bottom right-hand corner. We have Mighty as the red Terran. I think, so this is my thought process. This is my thought process. I think that the previous game, Michael was, tr what he was trying to do is he was trying to have, I, I think he was out meditating himself. <clears throat> so where I was thinking, okay, he sees the the lack of Marines being built by Mighty in these builds, and he's gonna go for a DT drop or a Reaver drop or something along those lines. Now I think what he's trying to do is he's trying to proxy those gateways in order to have Mighty scout him either through a compsat or just a continued scout to lead him into believing that he had a, like a earlier third or was going for an earlier third and then hit the timing with the Archons where the Archons would be able to get into the natural expansion on top of the SCV, something along those lines. But the thing is, is Mighty never scouted it. Um... I don't think he ever scouted the pro I don't think he scouted the build order, and I think he was just kind of rather than worrying about what his opponent was doing, he was just executing his own build order rather than trying to do any sort of adjustments to it. So I'm almost wondering if it was kind of like a in the meta, two steps ahead, one step back sort of thing. Gateway opener here for Michael. <laughs> Chat saying there's no understanding the There's no understanding, Protoss. How can you get inside the mind of a that which can't be understood. Refinery popping down for Mighty, so it looks like it's potentially another two factory build. We'll see. Scouting the corners, is he going to be able to block this SCV out? Or sorry, this probe out? SCV not getting the blockade this time. That's actually a big win for Michael. With his ability to adjust and actually seeing this refinery going down and actually spotting, this will be critical. Yes, keeping that probe alive and being able to cycle around. He is blocked in now. That probe has sacrificed his life for ire. But what will be critical is, is once that 100 gas point is hit, what happens? Michael, very bravely, going one gate into Nexus, and he's doing it in front of this SCV scout. SCVs are pulling off gas themselves. There's that first factory being fielded. No Marine being produced for Mighty. Okay, there's the Marine. Just a little bit. Getting ahead of myself. One ACV on gas still. Zealot got an initial hit on that Marine. It is making its way across the map. I like this play from Mighty. Is the probe still alive? I take it back. I liked that play from Mighty, except that probe got killed. <laughs> if the probe had remained alive... What it would have been interesting to see is the Zealot Pressure pinning a Marine on the front while that probe was doing other stuff in the main. Now that Zealot might be able to get some free damage on Supply Depot, but this Marine should be out momentarily. And there is a SCV coming off to go ahead and repair that. Zealot backing off before it goes into his base health. But Michael has his expansion up. Already transferring probes. No, there's a cybernetic score. Warping in. No second gateway. No push attack otherwise. Yet. Machine shop down. Second factory down. And a starport. Ooh. So Mighty seeing that expansion down. And knowing Michael's proclivity to play it a little bit lighter on the opening gateway units. Is opting for a vulture drop. Speed is upgrading. We'll probably see mines immediately after it. The critical thing with the Vulture Drop against early Nexus builds is you need to inflict significant damage because oftentimes when you're investing so many minerals into this drop, sometimes you're just dropping vultures and yeah, you're killing probes here and there, but you need to, you need to kill a lot of probes to make it count. Or really, critically, if you can get mines on top of that gateway and get a drag explosion, something along those lines, it can pay off for you. But otherwise, what it ends up doing is just delaying your economy and giving the advantage to your Protoss opponent. So point, I guess what I'm saying is, is high-level Koreans oftentimes will pull this off against an opponent that's unawares. But, uh, but otherwise, it's, it's hard to execute. 
Especially because if you stay on top of your macro, which Michael's shown himself capable of doing, you can still just keep producing probes and end up essentially ahead in the mid-game. Speed is finished. Waiting for the mine upgrade as well. Dropship is out, and there's four vultures waiting. Robotics facility about halfway finished. Once that observatory is up, it'll help. There is a third factory being produced, so it's also possible that we'll see a drop and also a follow-up sort of attack on the ground. So basically, continued vulture harass and then maybe some siege tanks and whatever pressing the front door to follow it up. I've seen that work quite a few times. Two additional gateways being plopped down. So Mighty has a small window. There's the observatory. He has a small window where he should be able to harass this. But he needs to get a lot of probe gills. No goons in the main currently. So he's caught unawares. Gas being disrupted. Michael reacting fairly rapidly and able to get Dragoons here. Flooding all of his probes to the natural. One vulture down. One Dragoon actually able to drag those mines. And I think this is going to get cleaned up. More vultures making their way across. The dropship coming back home. So the drop, what was that? Four kills? Five kills? I don't think that's sufficient. I do not think that was sufficient damage. Maybe with a follow-up. Michael actually losing some more probes on his front. Some vultures diving in right there, but the front door being sealed. Nice attempt. But now that Observer is out, additional Dragoons should be produced. Michael's weathered the storm and is about even in supply, which is not where you want to be. And now that Command Center just plopping down for Mighty. You can just see how late that is. And these Vultures can continue to press out, but here's the thing with the architecture of Overwatch, where you just have this very narrow bridge. Just that narrow bridge and that Dragoon should block anything that's coming additionally on the ground. And I think he's going to have enough Dragoons spread out. He just has to micro them quite well to continue to, continue to defend against these drops in his main. More Dragoons being produced. There is an Observer right here. The Vultures land. Are they going to go for the Natural Expansion or the main? They could get some mines down in front of that gateway. And this is a blockade. Okay, so do have some Dragoons right there. Some Vultures trying to engage from that right corner. A Zelt being produced. But this three Dragoons greeting this attack. Not able, able to pick off the mine right there. Now keep in mind, yeah, you got two probe kills right there. And actually, <laughs> shuttle lifting some probes to keep them alive. Ugh. Doesn't quite get a second Dragoon. These Zealots are going to forfeit their lives. But Michael still overall ahead in supply is generally ahead in economy. And that natural expansion is just coming online for Mighty. So a lot of flash. Not the player, but you know, the you get what I'm saying. <laughs> a lot of flash would have won. Flash would have made this work. A lot of flash, but you can see that My Michael's up 20 supply, approximately. Or 10 supply? Do maths. 10 supply. <laughs> maths. And he's in position once he has sufficient Dragoons to go ahead and slow play it to go ahead and take an early third. Plus, there's only one siege tank on the ground. Actually, take it back. Four siege tanks on the ground. Three machine shops. Wow. Interesting adjustment from Mighty. To go ahead and build additional tanks. To continue to press from here. Cannon at the natural expansion. Cannon at the main, just in case additional vultures were going to sneak in. But this is a significant amount of Dragoons. A couple... Looks like a mine managed to drag and do some damage otherwise. Let's see if this observer... Yeah, plenty of observers to clear out the mines as well. And now Mighty following this up. Michael actually supply blocking himself a little bit by taking that pylon down. Mighty pressing forward, and looks like he's going to go for maybe a kill, but otherwise a siege tank contained at the natural expansion across this bridge. There is a shuttle with some zealots in it, and no anti-air. That's six siege tanks. The Dragoons, if they can make their way around, might be able to engage this. But actually, Mighty 
Following us up with, this is a scary attack. Dragoon's trying to press across. Might be able to... Yeah, they are going to be able to sneak through. This is not where Michael wants to engage this. I'm not sure if this is a map he's accustomed to. I feel like this is one of those situations where Michael knows the map and Mighty does not. So Mighty, looking like he's in a good situation to perhaps take this match. Michael trying to end around. Is he just going to go dive at the natural expansion or is he going to try to re-engage across this corner? Again, there's no anti-air. Good location for Zealot Bombs. The Vulture's trying to peel their way back to help defend this. Unseaging, the Dragoon's able to press in. Unfortunately, eating some mines on that upper right-hand corner. Zealot's now dropping. Able to get right on top of those siege tanks. Nice engagement from Michael here. But does he have enough raw units to clean this up? It looks like he does. Beautiful. That was textbook. Okay, Protoss players, take note. When you're, That's exactly what you want to do right there. Attack at the angle. Yeah, just clear it out that way. Another drop incoming. I think there's enough to clear that out. And now Mighty actually in a situation where he might be at risk of losing something at his natural expansion. He's trying to seal that up, but there is a shuttle that can ferry units right overhead, and there's still no anti-air. He's sitting on four factories, critically three machine shops, so he can get a lot of siege tanks out in a hurry. But he is blocked back into his base. No zealots, unfortunately. That would be like the thing you want to push in there. Drop at the main. There is a cannon there to provide some defense. There's some zealots working up to try to provide a distraction. If nothing else, they are getting scouting information here. Another cannon being placed to the north there. So they're seeing that Stargate warp in their face. Also able to halt gas, which is critical at this stage. Protoss sometimes lives and dies by gas. Still not getting cleaned up. Mind drag. And honestly, Mighty's done... So he's floating a lot of minerals here. Michael's stayed on top of his macro, but Mighty's done a good job of pinning Michael back and actually getting a lot of probe kills. He's sitting at 27 probes. He's 10 workers behind Mighty at this stage of the match. Although that's not translating into a superior army because he's floating a ton of minerals. Also, getting his third ahead of Michael. And I'm almost wondering if that's because Michael just wasn't accustomed to this specific map. Michael pausing production to go ahead and try to take his third. Still had this shuttle nearby to maybe threaten a drop, but hasn't been really hasn't been able to do anything with that. Hasn't had an observer in the base to really see what he's up against. And a bunch of additional factories being plopped down for Mighty. One big thing, though, is zero upgrades thus far for either player. Sorry. Take that back. Mighty will have weapons one and actually be ahead in the upgrade count momentarily. But he's well behind in production. That is a lot of siege tanks. Getting three Dragoons for free on that corner. And that SCV scouting that. Again, Archons. Interesting. Kind of curious the logic behind... I'd like to hear a Protoss player... Talk about Archons, or the concept of Archons here, against this against Terran and this unit composition here in the mid-game. Is it just to absorb Siege Tank hits and allow the lead with some good micro to get Zealots in on top? Maybe with some drops, they could be interesting. Might he have some trouble microing his units? I guess it technically is in more the macro category. Mighty with a huge supply lead all of a sudden. Pressing out with a large attack force. I really... Also, this this is like the perfect map for Psystorm in a lot of regards. Like you got this ramp area, you got the one on the corner, you got the kind of little gap... From high ground portions, you can just light up the sky, right? Michael just now staging to take his third. No SCVs for the 6 o'clock yet for Mighty, but Mighty has a powerful attack force 
gathering up, and I don't know that Michael has enough to really stop it. Pushing in. This grouping of Archons and Zealots flooding back. I think Mighty realizing he has a sizable attack force is trying to hunt this army down, and Michael trying to draw it away from his natural expansion. Actually might be able to push into the 6 and take that out, but I think Mighty might be able to end the game heads up, if that's the case. Yeah, just by diving straight in. Vultures are there. So Michael looking for an exchange. But I think the exchange is going to be his base for everything that's there. Floundering a bit. Natural expansion clearing out. More mines going off here in the background. Was that a vulture that it managed to get up in there? I don't think so. But yeah, I think that's game. Going to see GG momentarily. Nexus about halfway finished. Archons, Zealots, Dragoons. Dropping up on the high ground. That should be cleaned up. He's going for a base race situation, but here's the thing. Yeah, Archons have a lot of padding, but this is still three machine shops that are still producing tanks. With just reinforcements that are coming out there, he can, he can defend that. So this is going to be GG. Mighty should be able to clear this out without too much trouble, and that will advance him to the final. We're going to see a game, but yeah, there's GG. So we are going to see a final between Mighty and Agistol. Should be a good one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.